Here I am, Leon C, a.k.a. Morpheus. That is Leon C, a.k.a. with the big M. Before we get started, I'm going to read the email, then start with the services of serving you. Emailer contacted me about a previous audio that I have made. And I'm going to go ahead and read the email for you because it's going to probably be similar to some of your questions as well that I am going to be able to answer by this emailer. You must know that oftentimes, again, when you email me about something and if the subject is a big subject that I know of and that you know of that many people can relate to. I will share that. That's why I keep things nice, simple, and short, and definitely respectable. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Hey, Leon C. I am Katie. <laughs> I have a question about my grandfather. It seems like lately he's been attached to the medications that he had been on. He's on at least two or three different medications at one time. And some that helped him with his pain that he has every now and then. And as I have listened to your audio and your teachings, I understand what you're talking about as far as the medications that we use here in America that is counterproductive. She does her homework. I love that. <laughs> getting back to it <laughs> but when I spoke to him about what you say in your teachings which makes a lot of sense he tells me that his medications actually help him and without his medications if he pulls back away from them and the pain pills that he had been taking for quite some time then he would not feel right and his pain will eventually overtake him and he will not be able to function as well as he thinks. I need to know why is this and is it a problem if he still needs to move back away from his medications or should I just let him be? Thanks for the good work. Keep it up and a big thumbs up. All right. Um, first of all, I appreciate you, Katie, for for coming to me okay um, even though I'm not a doctor but I do have knowledge and common sense and instincts okay I am an outer box person and oftentimes when you go to a secondary sources doctors don't want you to do that okay people don't want you to do that agent Smith's don't want you to do that for example <laughs> when you follow suit with the game plan and the rules you lose because you're playing the rules that somebody else made for you there's always a somewhat of a hierarchy there's always somewhat of a power play where you have a pond and then you have the king on top or the king and queen but it's not like that nowadays anymore because the king and queen don't work out well it's always man and female trying to well they just can't get along I'm not going to get into that. But however, the idea is for you to formulate yourself where you are obedient to the scheme of the power play, whereas you will constantly feed into this big machine and animal called the uh, indoctrination social engineering system that you have here in America. OK, so you will often hear someone who's supposed to be a professional say something like, you shouldn't go to. Don't go to them. They don't have a PhD. They don't have the, they don't have the credential. You shouldn't. And then what happens is the trick is so you can keep coming back to Agent Smith. That's all. At the end of the day, so you can remain a uh, a, a forever customer. It's funny. I was <laughs> I could have I remember what I when I worked in the hospital. OK, the hospital setting. Um, <laughs> I was I was teasing with this nurse that I worked with. And um, she would often tell me about, um, yeah, we have, we don't tell secrets and things like that. You know, that's, 
that's illegal. Okay, we don't do anything like that. They never spill the beans about anybody's medical records and stuff like that. You know, everything is, it's secure. You know, to be honest with you, I've always been honest with you. So yeah, it's legit. But um, she tells me about the influx of um, patients that she would have one day. Like there's so many on the board, maybe five or six one day, maybe two or three, sometimes more. And it's the influx of them. Okay. And, um, you know, the story goes on from there. You know, we do the work, whatever, blah, blah, get it done. Of course, you can see the names on the board, whatever, you know, but it was make good conversation. Like, wow, you know, we got a lot of customers. We got a lot of patients today. Wonder what's going on in the outside world, you know, but however, some of them, you know, constant patients, you know how that story goes. Those who, you know, can't help themselves. But however, so I said, <laughs> I said one day, um, I said, wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of customers there that, that we have to do today that that's coming in. And she's like, customers. She said, these are patients. <laughs> she said, you call them you call them the patients customers. I said, uh, yeah, I said, uh, yeah. On a general basis, there may be one or two that that are in a serious situation. There's a health problem, you know, a child or two or something like that who have uh, inherited a mistake from their parents because parents do the drinking and, and drugs and stuff like that and they damage the, the child's DNA you know you know the story America come on I have to tell you about that okay let's use our adult sensibilities but the the fact of the matter is I call them I call them customers <laughs> and uh, she started saying that underneath her breath but she wouldn't of course when she got around um, getting the work done she wouldn't actually say that to anybody there she kept it to herself which was a good thing because when you really think about it that's the whole idea at the end of the day especially when it came with the program with the insurance and all that um the obamacare you know, all those sort of additional insurances so they can make sure that they take care of the hospital which makes sense you know you gotta keep the light on okay but the customer avenue was one of the big things because if you go you follow the trail of how much the medications cost and how stuck on medication that some of the <laughs> customers slash patients are on okay it becomes uh, a buy and sell sort of thing sadly but true sorry i don't cut corners and i don't i take the gloves off too bad okay um and what happens is they they end up in a constant circulation you know a, a constant I'm here for my medication situation or administration or uh, therapy, okay, or um, evaluation. The list goes on. So, <laughs> kind of remind me of that column customers. But getting back to the story here, your grandfather. Um, and here's the thing about it. You got you got to understand. It. A lot of you who are listening to this, the the human body is a it's it's a organic computer okay let's start right there but it's a biological organic computer where whatever you do to yourself is going to affect your dna eventually <clears throat> depends on how how much of it you do this is called vibrations and this is called interruptions in your gene pool okay which depending on how much vibration and effects that you do to your body okay that is going to either damage your dna to a, a certain sequence or it's going to spiral it out of control where you will begin to mutate in certain areas and oftentimes mutations end up very small such as pimples pock marks um and an elongated uh, gluteus maximus uh extended abdomen that of course that's just by eating bad foods and being out of shape but that's still a mutation over time because you're being affected by the stimulations of food okay and i'm not gonna get into that in this one i would teach you that probably in another audio as far as food being stimulation okay and that affects your body however getting back to that so foods and chemicals that you add unto yourself lead um, bad water, um, sodiums and sugars and things like that, which all tie into it. Uh, you can say food and drug. Okay. 
how much of it you introduce into yourself will eventually affect you by the DNA in the bloodstream. Because remember, the blood carries identity and information. Blood carries a lot of information. It carries the white blood cells and the red blood cells. Okay, and plasma and so forth and so on. It keeps going. That's how the body is able to gain its nutrition, its fluidity. Okay, and to be able to, I call it, surging through every vessel and vein of your body. Okay. So let's just step back and say, okay, Morpheus, I understand you're saying that this body of mine is like a computer. It has wires everywhere. And the wires carry the DNA, which for computers is just the electrodes and the nodes and the end and electrons, positive, negatives, and information stream. Okay, yeah, depending on how big the copper is and what the connection is. You got the motherboard and the chips, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into that. I can't help it. Morpheus is a nerd. However, so what happens is when you introduce yourself with drugs that is medicating you, listen, for any reason whatsoever, depending on how heavy that you medicate yourself and for how long, it will begin to affect you. Now, there are certain age ranges that are more susceptible to this, uh, Katie and others. And that is the older generation of people. Um, just like I talked about in one of my other audio logs discussing, um, I say, discussing automobiles. And I talked about how when you produce an automobile or even a product from the store, it targets certain people who are going to buy it. Okay. Young people want to buy certain things. Older people are going to buy other things. Like women, they might buy kitchen. Well, not anymore. Anyone get in? Nowadays, I don't know what, what women buy. You know, <laughs> see, I don't even, I'm not gonna get into that conversation at all. Okay, it used to be Tupperware and kitchenware. That's just for the rarity of them. Now it's it's God Almighty. Anyway, kids would be like candy, funny, flashy stuff. You know, uh, colorful roller skates. You know, big lollipops, things like that. You know. Uh, uh, little toys they can play with for boys used to be G.I. Joe's some of them are still around Barbies for girls it's stuff like that so it's, it's for them you know adults ain't gonna play with that stuff you're not gonna see in a man's garage that he got all kind of Barbies sitting there on the shelf and you know <laughs> I mean, it's just not gonna happen I mean unless you got an exception to the rule whereas it was probably the toys and the Barbies that his his sister played with when he was younger or his long lost daughter or something he just keeps it up there as a as an antique you know or something just to remember them by it's nothing wrong with keeping something that remembers just to remind you of somebody who's gone who's not no longer with us you're just honoring their memory okay that's an exception to the rule we keep all sorts of things but getting off track here so when it comes to the age with medications and hospitals and how things operate, it does depend on your age. That's why they worry about how much you weigh, how old you are, because that determines how heavy the medication is going to be and how less it is. And depending on the severity, okay, up doses, down dosage. But the problem is, it's not specifically the hospitals, okay, let's not blame it on them. I'm not pointing my finger at any doctor whatsoever. Because the end results and the beginning factor of it is the customer slash, excuse me, patient who goes in there when they don't have a severe situation or when they allow themselves to just go along with the, uh, the matrix system and medicate themselves unnaturally. So when this person is older, like your grandpa, he's more susceptible because not only over the years are at a long a long extension of time has he uh, apparently not been doing his just diligence in taking care of himself his body is no longer strong enough to defend off and, and to fight itself as well to fight off the uh, the additional new bacterias or the um to straighten out his own biological fluidity of whatever medications that he put in his body what i mean is this Okay, some of you know this, I know that, but I'm going to say it anyway because some of you do not, okay? As an average middle-aged person, okay, who is of health, working out, taking care of himself, if he takes the average medication of a sort that somebody's actually on, okay, it may affect them, but the body will straighten out eventually and find a way to get it out of its body, okay? Through various forms of excretion, okay? 
and uh, you know saliva and mucus and all that type of stuff. I'm not going to gross you out, okay? But it gets rid of it, like say, in a matter of weeks or maybe a week or so, okay? At the end of the week, you won't even notice that they even took the medication. But an older person, when they have not, not only have they not taken care of themselves, jogged, going for a walk, eating the proper vegetables, eating organic food, drinking the right amount of water, okay, leaving yeast, bleached bread, uh, milk from cows alone because you're not a calf. I don't know why you're drinking milk. Okay, it's not for everybody, but you shouldn't be doing it, but you do it anyway. Uh, messing around with flowing agents, high fructose corn syrup, syrup, modified food starch, the list goes on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I have an audio for you and I, I give you the list. Be patient. I, if I didn't put it up there right now, I'm, I actually got one coming for you. So I'm going to write the list down for you so you can be careful of these ingredients in food. Okay, however, getting to the point. So this gentleman is like a wore out car with high mileage on it where it can't take too much. So what happens is the body does a does a switch on him because, you know, it's a biological computer. It affects him not only more, but now since the body is somewhat deficient and unable to balance its own chemistry or whatever its condition is, especially the pain, the pain, the arthritis, the joints. OK, the swelling of the back and so forth, um, uh, the sensitivity of the skin. Yeah, I know all that. I know all that. OK, <laughs> trust me. Um, all the malfunctions of the body, it cannot handle it any longer. OK, and the sleep aids and so forth, so forth. OK, it becomes even more dependent on that medication for life. Where if that person uses this medication, the body sees it as a direct form of correcting the problem. OK, it's a direct form like you go straight for the sugar instead of eating food that can be broken down into sugar, transformed to energy and, uh, you know, to glucose and help your pancreas and the flow and all that type of stuff burn it down as fuel okay however so the trick of the matter is by them medicating or just accepting the medication the body itself will not be able to bounce back naturally on its own the longer they use the medication the longer they use it they become dependent on it whereas when they leave and basically when they stop taking the medication or they they decrease the doses like what some doctors do. They decrease the doses because they know that you don't need that much. You don't need it to be that strong any longer because your body is recovering. Your body has the ability to fight back. You see, it's getting better. So they decrease it and they decrease to the point to where now you just like half appeal and the body's doing the wrestle by itself. And then the doctor say, OK, I'm going to take you off the medication altogether. You're OK. Good job. Whatever you did, keep on going. Then you go to the physician. The story goes on. OK. But because, listen, Katie, and a lot of you, listen carefully. Because here in America, we are lazy as a donkey, dunking donkey. Okay. And we aren't doing what we're supposed to do for ourselves and not as active enough. Okay. We're living a computer push button lifestyle. Everything is moving for us. Everything is automatic. Everything is at an instant of a button push. I know I just said that, but got to drill it in for you. Everything is just without your human ability. So you're not being as physically active as you need to be to get your, your blood pumping, to secrete whatever uh, uh, bacteria that is in your body to push it out properly in the proper areas as you should. Okay. Um, to cleanse yourself of any toxins that you have it comes out in various forms but we contain it more of the percentage within ourselves than what we should by our inactivity that's why i always get on you about health and spiritual health and mental health because all that ties into your empowerment because that will give you the ability to excrete the toxins and the the you can call it depression as well and the instability of your emotions right out of your body right out of yourself naturally without depending on medications okay so what happened is when you decide that oh i don't care i'm too old i don't want to do it or that's better yet for some of you who think it's just for old people when you are young yeah middle age 
Probably, you're going to be 22, okay? Or even 19. When you live a wreck full, okay, I don't say reckless, wreck full, wrecking, all the time wrecking, okay? Lifestyle, drinking, smoking, playing, lazy, eating wrong, bad food, and all of a sudden you reach 32 and life start creeping up on you and you start aching, bodies start falling apart, okay? That's because you could have taken preventative measures to help yourself. Uh, um, there was something in, um, what was that? The movie called, um, um, what am I? Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'll never forget. I was, um, how old was I? Pretty young, whippersnapper. But um, in the movie, uh, of course, it was a child movie, but it was still inter entertaining for all ages. And the guy with the black hair was standing in the shop to get some medication or some uh, some pills and stuff for um, the kid that they were going to kidnap in a movie, that is. And um, the, the guy looked down, he looked at all the stuff that the grandmother was grabbing. And he looked at it and said, why are you grabbing all this for the kid? The kid don't need this. And she turned around and looked at him and she said, she said, have you ever been sick, son? He said, he said something like, well, no. I said, well, this is why you've never been sick. And he stopped and looked at the camera. And I think about it for a second. Okay. He's like, well, okay, that kind of makes sense. It's called prevention ahead of time. You don't have to wait until you're, you start aching. Your hair's falling out, your testosterone ain't the right level, your estrogen's falling, um, your hips ain't like what it used to be, you start crickening and cranking, your eyes is getting foggy, um, uh, uh, you start hearing your knees knocking everywhere. You don't have to wait until that happens to eat right, take care of yourself, or even take, there's some healthy medication that can help you. There's over-the-counter pills that you can buy pretty much anywhere that can uh, give you the vitamins that you need. Okay, and the substance that you can probably get out of food, but it gives it to you direct at, directly as a buffer, as a protective agent, as a preventative measure. And of course, you may hear people say, oh, there's no need for you to eat vitamins and don't do take your vitamins because you're going to you're going to excrete it right out. You're going to excrete most of it right out. But like, OK, and now I have to ask a question, be this the super nerd, but check this out. It's better for you to introduce your body to the vitamins, the minerals, as you should. Okay. Even if you may lose at least, uh, let's just say, for example, 60% of it. And you take a multivitamin pill. You lose 60% of it. When you go to the bathroom, you come back out. Okay. But you still got 40. <laughs> so, therefore, it don't matter if you're losing some. As long as you are introducing it to your body and you're doing preventative measure. Because once you go to the hospital, you get older. You start getting crickly. Those same vitamins, minerals, and stuff is going to come to you, but just in a different form. In a form, are y'all understanding this? It's going to come in a form of medication. That's going to be a different form of a higher form of stimulation in the way that they have to put it together in order to formulate for your biology. But the ideal is to straighten you out because you didn't do your just diligence where you had the opportunity to. So you don't have to be old in order to try to make provisions for yourself. You can make provisions for yourself while you're younger. You understand? So when you come across those uh, middle age issues or those old issues, you're going to be all right. You're going to be surfboarding and 60 years old out there surfing. You'd be like, what, what's going on here? You're surfing. Like this guy is off his rocker. Absolutely. He's off his rocking chair. Right. He's not in his rocking chair. He's rocking over the waves and you ain't. I've seen older men. I've seen older men get down and dance like never before. I've seen older men rocking it in the gym every now and then. I've seen older men when I drop my um, my students off at the skating rink. I've seen older men out there skating with their kids. They rocking it. You'd be like, what's going on here? Because they took care of themselves. You don't have to. Just because you're old don't mean you can't do nothing. That's an excuse. That means over the years, over the years, you've been neglecting yourself. And now you're no good to you. And now all you're doing, you're just dependent on drugs. The same old ploy story that's been going on for decades now. But we're supposed to be a different species today. But sadly, we're not. So, unfortunately, Katie, and the, the intern of this, the, the, the tram or whatever you want to call it, 
the issue of it okay is now the body is so fully dependent on it it's like starting all over again to try to decrease the dependency because the body can no longer uh, it can no longer produce on its own it can no longer produce the cells the energy and the um the proper defense system the healing mechanism that the body have within itself in order to stand on its own two feet so i would not suggest for you to take it away from him um i wouldn't suggest to um, take it to heart too much because oftentimes older people listen older people are set in their ways oftentimes they're not ignorant they just don't care i'm sorry it's just true they just don't care you and not only do i see older people out there skating and living their life okay that's one half but i also see a lot of them just sitting down rolling their thumbs and, and def definitely rolling their eyes at the same time like god these young whippersnappers like oh i wish i can do that some of them like oh, i just don't want to do that i'm just looking bearish like why why do you have to what i mean what's going on there they just gave up just dropped the ball all together dropped the baton i don't care i'm just gonna let the doctor do whatever the doctor do whatever medication my knees hurt but i ain't gonna do nothing for it oftentimes when you do listen what happens to your body is this oftentimes when you do not use it you lose it your human body isn't stupid when you do not use your faculties your abilities yes and your talents you do not sing like you used to you don't drum like you used to you don't dance like you used to you don't jog like you used to you don't go to the gym like you, you don't do the things that you used to do okay and you blame it on your age the body's going to turn it off just like computer it's going to go straight on standby and after standby it's going to shut itself off is as simple as that and then you're fully dependent on your outside and then you see that you'll see the older people who depended on drink come home gotta have a drink gotta have a beer this middle-aged guys between 38 32 34 gotta have a beer they come home get a beer okay stomach is nowhere near a six-pack a huge cake you know you try to wonder who had the child you know they are you pregnant honey oh, <laughs> gotta have a beer okay and complaining sweating got bad glands the derma look all ripped no i ain't gonna go there their derma don't look right okay it just don't look right and they smell real fast you know why because all the toxins that are in the skin and in the body that they're not pushing out and they just keep drinking because that's their, their their escape is to drink their escape is whatever that they putting in between their lips and putting in their mouth also when you're doing fast food because it tastes good what did i say i was going to talk about stimulation it's a stimulation because it tastes good that's a stimulation eyes oh nose ears okay your six senses is a form of stimulation because you're too worried about something tasting good so you rather go to a fast food place because it just tastes different it tastes good instead of going home eating some carrots some broccoli some celery and act like you got some sense and then of course you get addicted to the fast food you get addicted to the drinking and now you got to have it because it's a stimulation for your mind it's a stimulation for your body because it secretes a certain dopamine it increases a certain um a receptor of a reward system in your body because it's an odd sensation and it's different and of course some <laughs> i ain't gonna talk about them but some food places have definitely taken advantage of your system by putting monosodium glutamates in your food so you can come back for more and have even more of a stimulation and then you crave them for it by the end of the week and you wonder why you got all these empty bags hamburgers and hot dog stuff all in your car and in your house and you ain't cooked anything all week and now you sick thank you for that katie um i think that our family here in america probably learned something from your email and i would say again to just an addition just in case some of you have forgotten because i can talk pretty fast the information is strong it's very strong so i gotta pick and choose what i say otherwise i end up talking very long okay 
and it's a large subject that continues on. It's going to take Siri after Siri, but I promise you that I will continue to walk with you constantly every day. There is going to be an audio for you that will actually answer your questions and definitely more on your medical and your health and pills and vaccinations and things that can enlighten and extend your life. It will help you. Okay. Now, with the older people, it's just a fact of results. Okay. And that's just the reality of it. We just have to get over the fact that we didn't do our just diligence for ourselves and to ourselves as we need to be so we call ourselves well let's just say we're just fully connected to the matrix now they just fully connected to it they they have the tube in the back of their neck and their own life support system <laughs> that's just, that's that's what it is medications and pills and getting all the administration because you're not doing it for yourself you're your own administrator it's your body it's your obligation that your universal concept and God have given you all you got to do is take care of it and whatever medication you have that you have to take for the moment do your own diligence and give yourself half and see what happens start winging it away from yourself and let your body do its own job okay because the problem is we are so denatured we don't like to be natural and normal anymore it's barely able to see anything normal here in America and natural. Like we got to make a computer and a pill out of everything. So these situations is not unique. You'll be surprised how many people are going through the same situation, looking at medicine cabinet and all kind of stuff going on. You're like, what's going on here? Like the pharmaceuticals got you. That's your next bill <laughs> for the month. Like, wow. All that just to be natural, but that is the results of neglect. Who wants to live like that? So you're looking, you're looking for an answer in this situation. Prevent it, prevent it. Don't pull back away from it. Look at it for what it is, except and say, okay, I messed up. I, I really messed myself up, but I know this ain't good. I need to do something about it and start getting healthy. You know, miracles is you. Okay. It's not some sky daddy or something when you go to the church and you get on your knees. You're the miracle. Get off your knees and go for a jog in nature. Like I always say, I'm going to always say that. Go for a jog in nature. Go get lost. Really go get lost. And come back and feel like a brand new man and a brand new woman. Start loving stuff that's normal and natural instead of tearing it up like the trees in the ground. Leave it the way it is. Sit there and have a picnic and just enjoy yourself. Leave those pills alone. Throw the pill into the water and let the fish take care of it. No, I'm joking. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that. You know, dispose of it in the right place. You know, we don't want our fish to get sick out there in the sea. Okay, just you know, put it in a bag. Give it to the doctor and say, no, thank you. I don't need it. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Because the universal God in nature have gave you the greatest pill that you can ever have. And that's your human body. Okay. So at this point, they're, they're really... It's not too much that you can do because it's like the end results. But what you can do is teach others. It is your obligation now for the younger kids who are 19 and up and even young. You don't have to wait until something happens for you to take care of yourself and take preventative safety for your health and eating the right foods. So therefore, OK, the information that me and Katie was talking about here, you give that to the younger people. Like it, share it, give it to mothers, single mothers and older people and people who are in the health industry. Well, they probably know it anyway. They just got to go by the construct. You know, they are. I know I've had conversations with them. They just can't do it. OK, when you when you're in the system, you you can't go against the system. You know, <laughs> that that will be kind of difficult. But at home, in your personal lives, you do have the ability to live a natural life. Be sensible with what you do. Okay, so you like this, you share this, and share it as